Welcome property investors. Today, we're gonna to be taking a deeper dive into DSCR loans. These are an incredible tool to help you in the investment landscape and understanding those is just gonna make you more successful. In this video, we're gonna be covering DSCR loans as they relate to multi-unit homes, two to four unit multifamily, as well as five to eight plus unit properties. There are two different categories and we wanna make sure that you're fully versed on all of it. Now, a couple of quick notes before we get started. Number one, this video is gonna be covering very specific information about DSCRs, but it's not gonna be covering the fundamentals. So if you're new to this kind of loan program, be sure to check out our other videos. We'll include a link in the description below. And of course, for the channel, show us some love, subscribe, join us. We'd love to have you hit those buttons. Uh, but I think you all know what to do at this point. So a DSCR loan, is based upon the cash flow of the property. If you're familiar with the loan, this shouldn't be a surprise to you. However, most people's familiarity with this loan extends to single unit homes like single family homes, townhomes, villas, condominiums, etc. However, the rules are a little bit different for multi-unit homes. That includes two to four unit multifamily homes, which is one classification. And then from five units on up, is a whole nother classification. So we're gonna be covering both of those in this video. So we're gonna start off with the two to four unit and then we're gonna work our way up to the five to eight plus unit. So let's dive right in. So the first element of a DSCR in a multi-unit home that may change for you is the LTV or loan to value ratio. This is the amount of leverage that the lender is willing to extend to you based upon the purchase price or the appraisal value for a home. In the general landscape of DSCR lending, you'll find that most lenders will lend up to 80% of the purchase price or value of the home. Certain lenders like us will extend all the way up to 85% of the purchase price for the home for single unit properties, but this changes with multi-unit properties. You can usually expect any lender who has a top line LTV of say 80% to knock that down to say 75. And like us, if we started 85, we're gonna knock it down to 80% maximum leverage because it's a multifamily home from two to four units. And just for the record on our own DSCR program, we will lend up to 80% on a two to four unit multifamily home as long as you have a 700 credit score. And speaking of credit scores, credit is our next topic. So credit scores are always important when you're applying for any kind of mortgage loan and DSCR loans are really no exception. Actually, even a little bit more important when you're talking about two to four unit multifamily homes. The biggest two things that, of course, this is going to make a big difference on is your overall total leverage or your highest LTV that the letter will extend to you, as well as, of course, the final interest rate of that loan. Now, to give an example on our own program, we will lend down all the way to a FICO score of 575 on a multifamily DSCR loan. However, we wouldn't give you 80%. We would probably compromise somewhere in the middle of about 60 to 65% maximum leverage. And of course, if you had a credit score north of say 700, we would go all the way up to 80. All right, next up is the DSCR ratio itself. Now, this is the very heartbeat of a DSCR loan program. This is the cash flow. This is the income for this kind of a loan. We make this income determination by taking the monthly gross rents divided by the monthly expenses, or in this case, the mortgage payment expenses or the housing expense for the subject property. This formula produces a number. Hopefully it's at 1.0 or higher. Anything over one is considered positive. That means it's making money. Anything over 1.25 is considered fantastic. And anything below that is considered negative. Literally it's losing money, a little bit of money each month. Many lenders won't let you go negative on a two to four unit property on a DSCR program. We do. We will allow you to go down to a 0.75 debt service ratio as long as the applicant has a 700 FICO score and your maximum LTV is going to be 75. So we are going to reduce the loan to value ratio just a little bit, 5% down from our top line 80 if the debt service goes a little bit negative, but we do allow for it. Okay, next up is reserves. Reserves is just a fancy way of saying how much money do you have left over after you purchase the home. So the way a lender calculates that is they count all of your money before you're buying the home. They back out the down payment, they back out the settlement charges and whatever's left over, they're going to divide by the monthly payment for the new loan. Now that's gonna give them a number of months that you can sustain if this property is not going to cash flow immediately. So it just basically, it's a cushion for a rainy day. Think of it that way. And lenders count it in terms of months. 
certain programs, including ours, don't always have reserve requirements. It really just depends upon what your needs are. Certain DSER programs for single unit homes often don't have them. For multifamily, most lenders are gonna usually ask for some form of reserves. It could be one month, three months, or six months. By the way, if you're refinancing and your lender does have a reserve requirement, the cash out itself is considered eligible to be counted as the reserves. Next up is being able to close on the home in the name of your LLC. Many lenders don't allow that on a DSCR program, and many of them still won't let you do it on a two to four unit multifamily. We do, our program actually allows you to do this. And not only that, but you'll be personally guaranteeing the loan itself, but you'll be closing in the name of your LLC, and we won't even report that loan to the credit bureaus on your personal credit report. It's a kind of an advantage that we have on our program. Okay, so now we've covered the two to four unit multifamily homes. Now we're gonna switch over to the five to eight plus unit category. When you get over four units, whether you realize it or not, you've kind of crossed into an entirely different kind of financing. And the rules are roughly the same, but they're a little bit different. We're gonna cover those. The maximum top line LTV for the lenders that actually do this, and they are few, we are one of them, they are still uh, lending all the way up to 80% leverage. In other words, 80% LTV of the purchase price or value of the home. But the property, the DSCR, is gonna be treated a little bit differently. So other things are gonna kinda come into play. They're like a miniature version of a commercial loan at this point. So you'll be expected to produce your resume, your net worth, a few things, uh, business plan, that sort of thing for the property that you're looking to take over. Under the DSCR calculation itself, it's slightly more involved. It's still gonna have the same kind of overall function, gross monthly rents divided by the actual expenses, the monthly expenses for the property, but the expense calculation is gonna be done in a much more comprehensive manner. So instead of just using 1 12th of the property taxes, 1 12th of the insurance, along with your PI mortgage payment, they're also gonna be looking at, of course, any dues or co-op fees, but they're gonna be looking at the actual utilities that go through this property and any other hard expenses that go along with this particular property. And that also gets baked into the DSCR ratio calculation. Now, our recommendation is, is that if you have one of these that kind of crosses your path and you're interested in it, give us a call. We can kind of walk you through what this might look like. And if you're looking for a quote, we also have a DSCR loan quote for five to eight unit properties located in the upper right-hand corner of the menu of the unconventionallending.com website. So be sure to check that out. And that's it. We hope you found this information helpful and that you're a little bit smarter about DSCR loans than when you started this video. If you're looking to invest in real estate using a DSCR program, we lend in 29 states. We have a wide, wonderful range of different types of DSCR programs to fit almost any need. And we have a ton of experience to do these loans. By the way, speaking of doing these loans, if you're out there looking and trying to calculate your debt service ratio, then take advantage of the free calculator that we have on the website that will allow you to calculate your own DSCR ratios on the fly anywhere you go. You can just pop in a few figures and it'll give you your ratio and just see how profitable this can be. So take advantage of that free feature. Thanks again for watching. I'm Derek Bisson and this is Unconventional Lending.